Now, a year ago on Breakfast, we heard the remarkable story of Paul Harvey, the former music teacher with dementia, who composed a piano piece using just four notes. Since then, I think it'd be fair to say Paul's had a pretty busy 12 months. He recorded with the BBC's Philharmonic Orchestra, entered the official charts, yes, and inspired a £1 million donation to charity. So let's have a little reminder of the story. It's just, he's got these beautiful harmonies and the whole form of it. I was like, where did this come from? It was, it was written on the spot. You just, it just pulled out of you. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of this man. <laughs> It's a wonderfully nostalgic, romantic piece of music. And the fact that it was improvised as well just makes it more special, really, doesn't it? It really just highlights the power of music, I suppose, doesn't it? And, um, and the importance of music to mental health. It's brand new on the official chart from Radio 1 at number 32, Paul Harvey and the BBC Philharmonic, Four Notes, Paul's Tune. We were so moved, my wife and I, when we saw your wonderful piece on BBC Breakfast. In a time where people are searching for good news, you lit up the screen. So my wife Marion and I would like to help you by donating a million pounds from the Hunter Foundation to help put a light into trying to release people from Alzheimer's. Well, we're joined now by Paul and his son Nick, as well as Grace Meadows, who's uh, from the charity Music for Dementia. Very good morning to you all. Uh, Paul, how is it watching that? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Good weird. Uh, absolutely weird. Most peculiar. I'm more interested in sitting on this couch, though. This <laughs> is really wonderful. Well, when you walk... I, I'm going to share with everyone watching... Sort of camouflage in, in the red. You know, you, <laughs> I like what you've done with the red. You <laughs> <laughs> try. You thought it through. And I should just explain, when, when you arrived... The whole family, good morning, by the way. <laughs> so the whole family was here because it is your three boys three all boys, helping yes. you come <laughs> uh, uh, to join us on the sofa here. Yeah. It's a very touching moment. A lot of emotion, I think it would be fair to say, as you're watching that back and thinking yeah, about quite yeah. what's been going on. Yes, it, it, it is. You know, it's, I, don't, I, 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 I can't say much because I, I um, it, it's all happened before and it's... I, I, I'm just uh, looking around at all these amazing lights and these, <laughs> and these amazing people, and, and I find that far more interesting than <laughs> because... talking, about, talking about me. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> We're just so impressed about this revolution that you started and the piece of music that you wrote, which brought with it then a million pound donation. Do you remember the moment you found out about that? Oh, yes. When... Sir Tom Hunter told me that, you know, I just burst into tears, in actual fact, because there was all this money... You that... thought it was being donated to you personally, didn't <laughs> you? Oh, well, then you can't <laughs> have to share it. Keep, 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 keep him quiet. <laughs> 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 you know. No, it, 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 it's... Uh, that, that was very, very moving to me, because, you know, it, it, it was all going to a really good cause, mm. and uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, Nick, I, I don't like speaking for other people, but that one part of this story, I think, is, is your dad, mm. and he's amazing, and we can all see that. <laughs> the other part is the family, is, is your, how, your relationship, yeah. and how close you are, and how you're helping each other, and learning off each yeah, other, and that's a, another big part of oh, it. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, well, Dad and I, and, and 
Tom and Simon, my two brothers who are, who are behind oh, the cameras. Just over there, by the way. <laughs> just, if you can hear them in the distance. We're, we're, we're such a close-knit unit. The, th the three of us are, are, are as thick as thieves. And um, we're so proud of you, Dad, for everything that you've achieved over the past year or so. I mean, we, we always knew that um, your music was world-class, but in your 80th year, to get into the top 40, <laughs> to get onto... And now that's what I call music <laughs> CD, underneath Kylie Minogue, at 80 years old. I mean, and, and all the money that you've raised, you're, you're, you're so, so awesome. And, um, yeah. I'm not sure who Kylie Minogue is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, She's a bit, she like... sings a bit. Does she? She, she sings oh, a bit. Maybe we yeah. need a duet with Kylie next. <laughs> yes, what? that's a good idea. You don't, you don't want to hear my singing voice. I'm very happy to play a well, company of her. Yeah. I'll accompany her on the piano, but... Uh... Kylie, if you're watching... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grace, we'll bring you in. What is it about music and people who live with dementia and their families that is so special? Well, I think Paul and Nick's story has really encapsulated it. It really helps to connect people. At a time when a condition disconnects people, it stops them from communicating and being in the here and now. Music really brings people together and connects them. And Paul and Nick are just the most wonderful example of that. But you don't have to be a trained musician or a you know, professional musician to feel the benefits of it. Anybody can feel the benefits because we're all musical beings. We've all got this ability to connect with music. And what is it within the brain then when it's struggling to cognate certain elements of life and yet it can process music, it can perfectly sometimes bring those memories back. Why is that? Lots of complex science, but a simple version is that we process music across the whole brain and not just in one region. Ah. So when the dementia starts to take hold, there's still parts of the brain that's not affected, which means that the music can still be processed. And of course, we don't just process music in our brains, we process it in our bodies and uh, through communication and various different ways. So when there's one route that's being blocked, there's another route that the music oh, finds. Oh, that's fascinating. Paul, can you pick up on that? What, when, when you, we saw the pictures of you at your piano, yeah. What does it feel like for you, which is different from how you might otherwise be feeling? Um, I, 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 my, my music is, uh, you know, where I, have, I can have some bad days because I can't remember things. My memory is shot to pieces, really. But I just go to the piano and I can remember everything. Uh, every piece of music that I've written, every piece of music that I used to play. And, uh, you know, it, it, it all comes back there. But uh, off, off stage sort of thing, I don't remember much. I mean, today, you know, I, I, the, 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 the lads were saying, here you go into the studio, you know, oh, right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, I've been told all this before, but I can't remember it. And Nick, you have to adapt to that then, don't you, about s telling the same messages to your dad time yeah, after time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like Dad says, he has he has good days and bad days. And the bad days, um, he, he might call uh, me or Tom or Simon a few times mm. throughout the day, and and he's forgotten that he's called. So we're having the same conversations, and that and that can be that initially that was challenging because you know as as um, as people who care, we 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 want to reassure you that. Um, everything's okay, but as human beings, we say, Hang on, you talked about that mm -hmm. before. But n now we've, we've learned just to go with the flow and um, uh, and have those same conversations again. Paul, can I ask you, when, when you talk about not being able to remember things, there'll be lots of people watching right now, you, who that's maybe happening to a family member. They're seeing some of that happen. Yeah. I, I wonder what words you have. I would just say, quite simply, you know, it may be happening to them, but just try through the music side playing something and they remember, they remember. Music continues where the printed word stops. That's what I think. And, and, and it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great, um, wonderful thing that, you know, if we, if we can go to that, as, as I, I, I shouldn't be saying this, but uh, if a few politicians actually um, uh, had some musical background and thought that 
they would do better than they think. <laughs> I, do you know what? I think, Paul, you can say whatever you like. You, you can say... Thank you're, you very you're, much. You're, you're, you, I kind of wish you had a piano in front of you right no. now. I'm, maybe uh, another time we can, we can do that. That would be amazing. And I it's would... such an important message, isn't it, that you can live alongside dementia yes. and have a very full and complete life. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. that's important, isn't it? Yeah. So important. And I think we've seen that so much through the, the donation that's come through. Um, and in all the organisations we've been able to support with that fund across the country it's just incredible that money's live in action right now and we've also been able to support so many people through Paul raising so much awareness around it and we've got lots of resources and guides on our website because I, I think sometimes people feel a bit worried about where to start with music mm -hmm. you know they think oh I need to be an expert I need to be trained but actually you don't you it really can don't. exactly you can you can just you know take a time take a moment to sit with somebody and really enjoy some quality time together it's been an absolute treat having you all here all the family <laughs> all over there who are all gonna help uh, now to take you off the sofa thank you thank so you much, very much. Um, well, thanks for having we me. know you're a Manchester very, very special reason as well. Not revealing too much, no, no. but we'll have more on the programme on Monday. We're not saying anything else. No, no. That's they won't even tell us because they don't trust us. No, <laughs> no, they're not they're not us anyway. But we'll be tuning in on Monday um, at 8.26. Time to get the news, travel and weather where you are this morning.